all right so welcome back guys this is where we left off let's get cracking let's get coding all right so um, this is our update function to be able to make this player move from left to right we need every update to either push it to the left or push it to the right if our buttons have been pressed so um, this is also going to be basically a code section so we'll start by checking if those buttons are actually pressed so if this dot accelerate left okay if this is true then we'll say this dot x speed x speed was defined here to have zero then this is going to um where is my keyboard okay then this is going to subtract because going to the left is going so look at this look at the look at the the position of of this on the x axis so going to the left is going towards the negative values while going to the right is going towards the positive values so if we are if we are if we are if we are adding uh, negative values, we're pushing it to the left. If we're adding positive values, then we're pushing it to the to the right. So in this case, we will then be adding negative values. That's why we have the minus here, All right? So we'll be add we'll be adding this dot accelerate, All right? This was defined as a property earlier. Accelerate this one, and then of course. Um, we have we have it set to 350. So this is basically saying um, we'll, we'll be we'll be reducing by about 350. All right. Then we'll multiply times dt. Dt is delta time. It's how many times. Um, it's it's basically as this is is updating us the number of times it's um, refreshing so the delta time times the acceleration okay then we'll also do this for for the right side accelerate right if that is true remember that this is only true if the button is pressed if the button is pressed down the moment it we let go of it, the moment it goes up, it becomes false, right? So both of them will only move to their sections if they are if they are true. So this dot x speed, all right? This dot x speed. This time instead of using minus because we want to go towards the right, then we will we will add. So we will do that okay so plus equals this dot accelerate times dt all right so hopefully this is um, getting useful so then we'll be using this speed um, to set up uh, the position of, um, of of the of the node okay so we'll go to the next section. Okay, where is this closing? Okay. So we'll continue and then say if we use the math function and get an absolute number, absolute numbers are positives, right? Absolutes are positives. So whether we have a negative, all we want is the positive value. So this dot x speed all right so if the x speed is uh, is greater than the the maximum movement speed again this was defined on the top the maximum movement speed so our maximum movement speed is um, 350 no that that should be 400 all right Acceleration is 350, maximum movement speed is um, 400. So if the movement speed 
basically if the movement of the blob is less than the maximum movement speed okay if it's uh, greater than the movement speed all right if we reach the limit okay then we'll use the maximum speed to set the the speed at which it moves so this dot x speed this dot x speed let me get my equal sign this dot x speed will be equal to the movement speed times this dot x speed over the absolute value of this dot speed x speed okay then we will use this this dot node dot x okay this dot node dot x we can use um, quite a number um, of functions um, to set the position um, personally I prefer um, the set position uh, method itself um, but um, even this is fine in this case we can we could use this then we'll say times dt. So basically what we're doing is the node has a position of x, right? The node has a position of x. Then to that position, we'll be adding a speed, a movement speed, all right? We'll be adding a movement speed, and this is going to be changing because it's going to be continuously updating because this function is running in an in an update then if the speed is going to be greater than the maximum movement speed then we'll set it um, up to the maximum movement speed which is basically 400 so if we save this um, this should then um, give us the effect of a moving blob if we press the a or the D okay so do that when I press it's now moving okay and um, that's a simple way of doing it so I hope this makes sense uh, look around the code see um, you can still play around with some of the values that's fine okay so we'll end here in this section hope you guys understand Again, remember to like, remember to subscribe and share this video. That helps me out a lot. Um, I will be adding some additional content um, in the descriptions. So keep looking at the descriptions of every video um, just for you to, to be able to see some of the things that I'll be doing with Cocos Creator. Some of them um, will be upcoming courses on Udemy. And... Um, yeah, if you are interested, you can basically use the coupon links that I'll be adding. There are some will be free, um, some won't be free, but they'll be on discount. So, yeah, thank you.